Howdy, howdy, howdy. Surreal Canine here. We are back with more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explores the sky. We've got an exclamation point here, and that means uh, now that we have uh, discovered Fogbound Lake, uh, seen the time gear there, and returned safely to Captain Town, we are ready for a new special episode. Bigly Buff the Prodigy, also known as Ismelda the Prodigy. We're going to uh, get to see what our lovely guildmaster was like as a little kid. Fun times for all. <coughs> There's Daniel and Abram. Good old, uh, old Shoop snoring up a storm. And there's Mr. Paul, just kind of uh, hopping around like a bird. Psst. Guildmaster, it's Paul. I'm coming in. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Here's a perfect apple. Let me pull over the microphone a little bit. Yay! Thank you! This is the last time. Each night I sneak away from everyone and bring you a perfect apple from storage. I'm fed up with it. Please, let me stop doing this. I'm begging. That is, the guildmaster would sneak in and eat one anyway if I didn't bring her one. Oh! Is this a defend globe? It's alright. It's not damaged. That's good. I thought we got chipped or broken when I dropped it. <laughs> That's kind of a rare item for you, Guildmaster. You're usually pretty rough with items, Guildmaster, but it's nice to see there's an item you take good care of. The Guildmaster is always taking care of perfect apples. That is, he's, she's like that again today. Uh, that is, it seems like that Defend Globe is a very precious exclusive item, isn't it? But this item only has an effect on Bug-type Pokemon. So even though you're holding onto a Guildmaster, it's not very useful, is it? Yes, I know you're right. But, but this is a special thing. Special thing? Yep, special thing. It's why, when I decided to become an explorer, the starting point. Special episode two, Ismelda the Prodigy. Way back when. Yep, that was back when I was still a small child. I wasn't a Wigglytuff yet. This was back when I was still an Igglybuff. There, everyone lived an easy life. It was a very peaceful prairie. I was raised in that little house. I live happily there with my parents. Good morning, Ismelda. Yep, good morning, Papa, Mama. Hey, Isma Hey, Izzy. You got plans to play with your friends today, right? I bought a bunch of gummies. Take some to share. Yep, thanks, Mama. Yay, gummies. Izzy! Izzy, let's play! Look, your friends are here. Be careful. Come home before it's dark. Yep, I'm off! So yeah, Izzy is going to be our main character. You can save your adventure from your bed. It's the top one on the left. Have fun playing, but be careful. Come back before it gets dark. Yeah! Izzy, it's so good to see you have so many friends. Be nice to your friends, okay? Yep, my friendly friends! As for, uh... Our summary. You can see that Izzy is, uh, even though she's a little girl, she's already level 17, and she's got a decent set of stats. Very high attack power. And a cute charm, uh, since this is our, uh, this is our pre-retcon male Iggly buff, it means that the lady Pokemon are just gonna totally fall for us. Make that what you will, I guess. <laughs> then dang time shenanigans, man. They're messing up the cannon. Also, uh, I should I should turn off my uh, 
headphone. Actually, wait, this isn't even... Um... <laughs> Whoops. Uh, that's, uh, that's easy to fix. There we go, that's better. <laughs> you didn't miss much of anything, sound-wise. <coughs> so yeah, we've got a whooper, a shinx, and a... Er, a smoochum, rather, and a badoo. Miss mixing up shinx with jinx. <laughs> I don't have names for these guys. We'll just call them like it is. Hi, everyone! Yay, let's go, let's go! Hey, what should we play today? Let's play in the mud! Yuck, I don't wanna. It's unladylike to get all muddy. Smooch! I brought some gummies. Would you guys like one? Yay! I want one! I love gummies so, so much! Smooches! <laughs> How are they? Great! Delicious! Thank you! Axel, Bud, and, uh, well, we already have another Bud, but that's not important. And, uh, I, I have nothing for Smoochum. <laughs> Hey, you guys. You guys, what are you doing there? Them? The bullies, Baynette and Scorpy! Riska and Aradia? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Igglybuff, you got gummies? Whoops, uh, there, there's another one for the misnamed character count. Give us some gummies, too! Lots! Punches! Heaps of them! Yep, sure! Friendly friends! Why is Izzy making friends with those bullies? I sometimes play with the Radius group, but they always boss me around. If you cross them, they're really mean. Maybe Izzy isn't scared of those two? Gummies are so delicious! girl isn't the slightest bit scared of us. Yeah, they are so yummy! It's fine, as long as we can boss her around. <laughs> hey, give me another gummy! Me too! Yep! Huh? I'm all out of gummies. You so many of them too, I wonder what happened. Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! Wow, I mean, we have, we have all of them, didn't you notice? It's alright, we'll forgive you. Just bring more gummies next time. Yep, friendly friends. Doesn't Izzy realize she's being played by Aradia? I hate that! I will forgive this! You shouldn't get involved! They're really big and scary! Hey everyone, we should go talk to Izzy's mama. She'll know what to do. Yep. Yeah. Sweet little child, you are truly adorable. Alright, she's asleep. Hey, Papa, I've been worried about something. What is it, Mama? I heard from Izzy's friends today. Izzy is being manipulated by some bullies. Some bullies? Yeah, Izzy's friends came to talk to me about it. Hey, Papa, you don't think he'd become like them, do you? She. Meh. Sometimes I really have no clue what that child is thinking. So I'm a little worried. Yeah, that does seem troublesome. But, but I think it's alright. 
Izzy is still so cheerful. No matter how she may seem, deep down she has a good heart. Besides, didn't we have this discussion before, back when I climbed that mountain with her? On our way home. It was a dark and stormy night! We found ourselves stuck in a sudden storm. Boing, boing. <laughs> Are you alright, is he? Yeah. Do you feel that? The storm is causing the ground to shake. We need to get off this mountain quickly. It's too dangerous to be here. Let's hurry. Yeah. Is he? And right then, this huge boulder started to fall right above me. Whoa! So good, I'm gonna be crushed. And just when I thought that you Somehow the boulder was smashed to pieces. I wasn't crushed by the boulder. Somehow I was saved. I'm not sure what happened, and I still don't exactly know what it was, but I'm sure it was Izzy that saved me. Of that, I am certain. That kid has some kind of mysterious power. If she doesn't just have some strong power, when people are in trouble, that's when it appears. I get the feeling his power is full of her kindness for others. I understand your concerns, Mama, but I think we should trust our child a little more. Okay? Yes, you're right. I'm sorry, Papa. He'll be, she'll be okay. After all, she is our daughter. Yeah. It's a good thing to be concerned about, Mama, so don't worry. That is, the fact that you are concerned, Mama, it just shows how much you truly care about Izzy. Right? Yeah. Thank you, Papa. Good morning, Papa, Mama. Good morning. Good morning, Izzy. Be careful, okay? See you later. Take care. Huh? You wanna play explorers? Yeah, let's play explorers. We're gonna become an exploration team in the future. So we should go out and explore unknown areas. Actually, instead of uh, Aradia, just because she's a ghost, uh, let's make it Terezi and Vriska. <laughs> the Scourge Sisters. So, this unknown place, where are we going? Hmm, that's a good question. You make a good explorer print. You make a good apprentice ex explorer, bud. We decide on the place, Murky Forest. What? Murky Forest? Is that what you said? Smooches, no way, I don't wanna. Going to that forest is not allowed at all. My mommy even said so. There's even a rumor that a big scary monster lives in the forest. Why do you wanna go there? Doesn't it seem like the type of place that exploration teams would go? Don't tell me. Does that mean you're scared to go? No, I'm not scared. It's just that you shouldn't go places you've been told not to go. I don't like it. I'm not going. Me neither. I'm staying out of it. Same here. What's this? They're all a bunch of cowards. They're scared and making up all these lame excuses. It's pathetic. I doubt that we'll ever be a real exploration team when they grow up. Not at all likely. Hey, what's an exploration team? What? You don't know what an exploration team is? Nope. But you're still here, so that means... That means you've got the courage? Yep, I do. <laughs> Alright. You'll do. Come along. Yay! Thanks, friends! Alright, everyone, line up! Alright, from now on, we're an exploration team headed toward Murky Forest. Gather up your courage and let's go! Yeah! Yeah! 
Yay! Yay! Ooh! Woohoo! Wahaha! Mamma mia! It's a me! <laughs> We're not even really told where this place is, but, uh, yeah. Alright, let's set up our, uh, set move. Sing is a really good move. It's kind of a Iggly Buff family staple. Just puts, uh, enemies to sleep. Enemy in front. Okay. Defense curl, same as, uh, the one Buck has. Pound is a, uh, normal type attack, and copycat... Copy is the last move. Copy is the last move used by the uh, your enemy. That being said, let's uh, set pound. Let's, uh, use one defense curl. And uh, let's go. Bayonet is. Uh, let's see here. We can't really check any of this. And they're both boys, so naming them the Arati or Teresian Briska doesn't really work, but, you know, whatever. It's my fanfic, I can do what I want. <laughs> Death of the author! So, uh, yeah. It's a pretty simple dungeon, really. Now, unlike Buck's story, this, uh, this adventure is going to span multiple dungeons, so, uh, we are kind of in for a, for a long thing. Ooh, an eye drop seed, and a chestnut trap, yeah. We are going to, uh, start seeing a lot of traps around. Chestnut traps are the simplest type, they just do 10 damage to you. Ooh, that's a warp trap. It, uh, makes you warp to a completely random place on the dungeon. Execute! I believe a grass psychic type. Frustration! Uh, in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, the lower your IQ is, the more damage frustration does. Insomniscope uh, will be nice to give to Izzy, at least for now. Uh, wow, Scorpy, that is a uh, kind of low accuracy. See trap orb uh, lets you see any traps on the floor. It's pretty nice. Zinc band raises special defense, which uh. Really, given Izzy's stats, we shouldn't need to worry about her much at all. Uh, I can't even see the... Uh, there we go. I just want to see how long I've been recording. <laughs> Apparently been 20 minutes. Yeah, I think uh, Bayonet is a pure ghost type, and Scorpy is, I want to say, bug and poison. Burmy is a... Uh, Burmy is about the same. Pure bug type. Protect is an annoying move that protects you from all damage for as long as the status is active. At least, uh, it might just be all move damage, but, uh, yeah, you can see, uh, it's a bit of a pain. I forget how long this dungeon is. Yeah, I should be looking this stuff up on GameFAQs or Bulbapedia or something, I don't know. Spinarak, another bug type, maybe bug poison. Wormpole is pure bug. I think. Uh, 
As for this music, uh, if you've played Red and Blue Rescue Team, you might recognize it. It's the song from Tiny Woods. Also, uh... Oh yeah, I know why Scorpy's falling behind. It's because, uh, Bayonet is a ghost type and can clip straight through the corners if you wanted to. And, uh, there goes Scorpy shooting at nothing. We've got a bit of money. Let's see here. Trap bust. Big Apple is good to have on hand. Matter of fact, we got an apple and a big... Oh. <laughs> okay, maybe I didn't need to buy the big apple after all. We... We've come pretty far. It's a really dark place, this is. Huh? What's wrong, Scorpy? The... This is that place that everyone says you're not supposed to go. The, the the depths of this forest, and the rumor that there's a terrible monster living here. What is it? Are you suddenly afraid now that we're here? I've got no sympathy. If you say if you say that, you you're making me start to feel scared. Scary. Uh, there's something here, though. Don't, don't say that, you. You coward. What is it? Now that you say it, Baynet, you're really scared, aren't you? Scared? Me? What nonsense? Don't pretend to be tough. Even while you're talking, I can see tears welling up in your eyes. No, that's not true. That's just not true. I'll show you I'm not scared. Hey, hey, you terrible monster. Can you hear me? What? I'm the Great Bayonet! I'm an explorer! We've come to beat you, so quit hiding and come on out! It's not coming out. What's this not here? I knew it. I knew it all along, from the start. I knew it was just a simple rumor, nothing more. There's no monster here, there never was one. <laughs> Is that so? <laughs> Alright, I guess this exploration is done. Everyone, let's go home. Yeah! Yeah! Did you just hear something? Some... I, I think I heard some kind of growl. Hey, you over there! Didn't you say you're an exploration team? Get out of here! Coming in here? I don't know who in the world you think you are. He's here! What's this? A bunch of kids? Weren't there more of you? You too, Junior. You better run away quick. If you stay here, something bad will happen. Hey, mister. What are you doing here, mister? Aren't... Aren't you scared? Aren't you scared of me? Nope, not scared. So what are you doing here anyway, mister? It She's a strange little fella. Hey, tell me! Tell, tell! I told you to go home! If you answer me, I'll go home. Answer, answer. No way! Go home! Short answer is fine. Finally fine. Uh, you're persistent. I guess I got no choice. I'll tell you a little. Come with me. Yay!
Oh, there's an opening in the rock here, deep in the forest. We're going in. Wow, amazing! Secret base, secret base! Uh, not quite. It's not a secret base, it's just my home. My name is, uh, hmm. Jack. My name is Jack Van Brace. I used to be an explorer, but not anymore, because of one thing. I've taken a break from exploring, and so I spend my days here. So, what's exploring? Huh? You don't know about exploring? Exploring is so much fun. It's incredibly exciting. So much fun. Incredibly exciting? That's right. Distant lands, uncharted territory. You visit many remarkable places and solve the mysteries you find there. Really? And you get to bring back treasure and fortune with you. Oh, that's so cool! And you have to keep at it, working hard and overcoming difficulties until you finally achieve your dreams. For example, uh, for example, this secret map. Open it up and have a look. This seems to be a map that indicates the location of some treasure. Study it closely. Doesn't really make sense, does it? If I don't figure out the cipher, I'll never be able to uncover the location of the treasure. But you're just a kid, you wouldn't know anything about this. I've been working on this one for a long time, and I haven't been able to figure it out yet. However, I'm not giving up. I can't. I know if I can overcome this challenge, there will be a future. That's the adventure of exploration. It's thrill! It's essence! It's never-ending attraction! Hey! <laughs> burned it! Burned it! Hey, Junior! What are you doing? Knock it off! Water! Water! Oh yeah, water gun! <laughs> uh, my precious secret map. It's, it's charred. Look! Why? Underneath the charred parts, you can see something. If you brush away the charred parts, can you see anything special? What? Right here. Isn't there something written here? Right, written. Eastern cave. Eastern cave? Really? Is it true there's treasure there? Yep, I knew it! <laughs> uh, that is... How did you know? How'd you figure out this map's secret? When I looked at the map, I saw it was really thick. So I figured there must be two layers to it. I didn't think there was any other way to peel off the top layer, so I thought I'd burn it off. This kid... I've been working on that puzzle for so long and she solved it just like that. And that is, this kid just like that. Hey, if you go to this eastern cave, would you find treasure there? Please take me with you! I want to go and see! But, but I'm... I'm a retired explorer. I can't just jump back in. Huh? But don't you like exploring? I mean, earlier it sounded like you really enjoyed talking about it. And you are working so hard on the secret of that map. If you don't go, it'll be a waste! It's, it's true that it would be a waste not to go after solving the mess riddle. Yeah, but I'm hesitant to leave here. Maybe I wouldn't attract too much attention in a little trip to Eastern Cave. Alright. Hey, Junior. You made a good point. We'll go. Really? Yes, really. But it's a little too late to start now. Your mom and dad are probably worried. Today you should go on home. Tomorrow we'll head out. Yep! Yeah, thank you! Alright, let's do our best tomorrow! Yeah! <laughs> She's adorable. The next morning... Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Mama. Yep, good morning. Good morning, Izzy. Uh, 
uh, actually we're not going anywhere just yet because it's been 30 minutes. That means it's time to save. So, uh, let's see what adventures lie in wait for Izzy and Jack. Okay? See you later. <laughs>